kill flows, Nintendo Switch. I'm on some shit that's monumental, magimental, artificial intelligence. Jotted down on scribes, the last of a dying breed. They wonder how I survive. Turpentine, turn the tide, go. What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man Bring it in the noise. You already know and I got to say Chainsaw Man Premiere definitely did not disappoint. I got some things to say. I want to tell you things and it's things that happen. Let's definitely jump into this first episode. Now, Chainsaw Man definitely is a manga adaptation. The manga has been out for a few years now, and all of the manga fans has definitely been waiting on this anime uh, premiere for a minute now. And man, and I gotta say, they really did a good job. I just don't know, man. October is anime month. We have so many great anime coming along. So, man, last week was big. This week is even bigger. So, man. But going back into Chainsaw Man. So, if you watched that first episode, you got a chance to meet uh, Danki, which he is the main protagonist in this particular anime. Now, of course, if you see him, he walks up to a door and you got to see him, you know, breathing hard or whatever. And then when we take place to actually get the visual of him, he has an eye patch on. He's not going to the description about like his whole like being in debt, like about like 38 million yen in which... A lot, of, all of that debt came from his father, or whatever. His father died, and he had a debt over, and he had to take responsibilities for that debt. So he hasn't had like a wonderful life. He's always, you know, working, trying to pay off that debt, scraping by little by little. But however, he did not just do everything all by himself. He had a devil go by the name of Puchita. Uh, Puchita is pretty much is a chainsaw devil type in which she was able to find in this forest um, that was able to, you know, pretty much feed on his blood. And they had an agreement. Now, if you paid attention to um, how their agreement was towards the end, when a devil and a human make that agreement, they have terms um, for using their power or granting you the power. They may have a stipulation that you have to agree upon or you at least have to make a bargain in which that has some type of favor for them. And once that agreement is made, you get access to that power. Now, we later get to see that on, but leading up into that, um, we got a chance to kind of like look at Danky on a different perspective. Now, we do understand that he's not really accent much for a life like you know meeting girls want to have a proper meal i want to have a better place to say it because if you look at his place it's all trash or whatnot everything just looks ugh but him um on puchita pretty much been um you know together since he started his journey on being a devil hunter now when after he fed and they had that brief agreement which you know he would feed him take care of him um, as if he could use him to pretty much fight. And he first made the presentable about being a devil hunter once he lopped off a devil's head and presented to the to the mob that pretty much let him know that, hey, look, if you don't do something about your father's death, but he presented an offer to him that they couldn't refuse. So he's been doing that for years now, and I'm not sure how much of a debt that he worked out. However, um, when you got a chance to see his payout for killing the tomato devil, his payout was 400,000 yen, and then they pretty much cut the top of his manager fees, everything off the top, and he was left with a 1,400 yen. And on top of that, he has to pay his water bill and all that stuff. And yeah, it really doesn't leave him with much, which you know, man, Puchita is going to be having to live off bread. But you know, and and when you think things will like go in a good favor for him, later in the night when he woke up in the middle of the night, he started coughing up blood. Apparently, his mom had died for some type of heart disease. So 
things are not really looking good for uh, Dan Key. It just seems like, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another, you know, him, you know, paying off this debt and everything. And let's not forget the fact that he has to give up limbs to try to make ends meet too. Like he just gave up an eyeball. He had to give up a kidney, one of his nuts. I'm just still tripping off the one of his nuts just to try to make it by. He said he didn't really get none off, uh, really much off his nuts. And I'm like, you didn't get nothing off your nuts, bro. But anyways, so a little fast forward, um, you know, the same mobster, um, he was in the car talking about how loyalty he was, pulled up to the side of him and his driver pretty much said, I give you a honey in if you eat a cigarette. So he act like he ate the cigarette just to get that honey in. Seems like my man's would do anything for money, um, you know, thought patrolling. But anyways, uh, we fast forwarded uh, after he found out about the heart disease, the monster came to his place. So, hey, it's a particular, um, you know, devil that I need you to kill. He goes to the factory and pretty much it was a setup by the zombie um, devil in which um, he um, ordered all of the people he possessed uh, to kill him in which. They did succeed. They they started stabbing him. But in the next second, when they go into the other scene, you see Danky body all chopped up. I was like, yo, actually seeing the anime version of this was like was like crazy. I was sitting there like on the edge of my bed like, whoa, bruh, this is crazy. But however, um, going into it, that's when a formal contract was made between uh, Puchita and Denki. They had a little like flashback of um, when they first met saying that not when they first met, but a little bit later on. But it was a flashback to explain that if he was to ever die, he would want Puchita to take over his body because devils do do that and to live a normal life and to die normally. He said he is some ways down the line. He's going to die by devil. He said it's a good chance he will. And he made that observation based on his experience. So when Puchita kind of like ran that, as you can see, his body starts reforming. Puchita kind of like fused with him. And this is the first time hearing Puchita talk to him spiritually. And Puchita is like, hey, look, you know, um, I will regen you. I will give you your life back and everything um, in some sense. But I want to see your dreams through your eyes. So after that, you can see that Puchito was, um, was fusing with him. He was gone. And only thing that was l like, not saying that he's like, 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 like mentally gone, but his physical body is absorbing. He can't see Puchito, but he's able to pull his, you know, chainsaw string and boom, there goes chainsaw man going crazy, going through the, the dead zombies, the zombie devil. He, he took it down. Now, when all this happened, you know, blood is everywhere. We got the final scene uh, with uh, Mekima. She makes her appearance. Um, and she got a chance to give him an offer. Either she kills him as a devil or he comes with her as a human. And she will feed him. That's pretty much the way she put it. Pretty much. I'm just saying probably going to work for him. But um, he agrees to it. You know, and that's kind of how the episode ended off. So, what do I got to say about all that? Well... Chainsaw Man really delivered. And I mean, like, we get a chance to to see a bit of seriousness, quite a bit seriousness in this first episode. Uh, we got a chance to know Danky on another level. And they really pushed the whole narrative of, of really a sad life for him. And the tragedy that he's faced and everything like that, I think that he really... Episode 1 has really made a bond with Danky that I think... All of the fans who's watching this is going to be like, yo, I feel for this guy. But when you take a chance to look at the intro, you can, you can tell that there's going to be a level of silliness that comes with this as it goes on. But man, the gore in here, that's that's one of my highlights um, is the gore. The gore is so freaking everywhere blood everywhere. We got to see him being stabbed repeatedly. The blood, I mean, just the freaking blood is just crazy <laughs> oh man and on top of that the visuals is nice it took a lot it looked like they took some elements for cgi and still incorporate a classic tone with it but just enhanced it like you know they really doing good with this animation i mean it doesn't go as far as like how bleach animation is because they really go in depth with details and everything but this where it's still holding the foundation of an anime style but added some cg elements to really give it that in life, like 3D effects at times is really good um, to say. So overall, I'm 
I'm giving it that perfect, man. I, I I can't say nothing wrong about Chainsaw Man right now. They really delivered on the first episode. And by God, I love it. I love every second of it. So, and this is my premiere review for Chainsaw Man. Let me know down there in the description of what you guys think about the first episode of Chainsaw Man. Other than that, your boy Ashton Man is out. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. It's always a pleasure to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button to get all of my uploads. And I want to give a special shout out to all my Patreon subscribers. Thank you so much for the support for the channel. And again, I will see you guys next time. Peace.